Hi guys and welcome to my latest review. Now what we have here today is a power supply and it's a very chunky one too. Now jokes aside, this is a linear power supply meant to power your 5 volts DC devices. Those are usually digital sources like DAX or streamers or both, which is even better. And the device we are talking about today is Alo Shanti, and it actually has two outputs. As you can probably see here, two cables coming out of it. One rail and the other rail. And that basically means you can power two separate devices with it. For example, both your DAC on one rail and your streamer on the other. And if you look at the front, you'll see that one rail is actually rated at three amperes, which is stronger one, and the other one is rated at, here on the box it says one, but uh, specs on the official web page actually says 1.2 amperes, and that is enough for basically any DAC that I've ever encountered in my career, and I tested probably over 50 DAX so far. So the stronger one of 3 amperes is reserved for something that needs more juice, like streamers, like raspberry pies and things like that. So basically with this one linear power supply, you're covered for both your DAC and your streamer. And that's actually great, it's versatile. And another very practical thing is that you can see both of these rails and in very typical power jack, DC power jack, but Allo actually provides six different adapters. You can just take any of them and for example this yellow one I think fits topping backs if I'm correct. Put it here and yeah, you can use it with almost any 5 volts device on the market. And for streamers based on Raspberry Pi especially, you have small extension cords that ends in micro USB or in USB type C. So micro USB for Raspberry Pi 3 for example, and USB C that I already have attached to my streamer where I'm currently testing Raspberry Pi 4 that's using USB type C jack. So that's actually neat because that way you're covered for any type of the device you possibly have. It's just important it uses 5 volts DC which is the most common anyway. Now on the back here we have something very typical. A power inlet then you have a selector for 110 or 220 volts power switch of course, but this is a little bit unusual. It's basically a binding post, like the one we find on uh, integrated and power amplifiers to connect our speakers. But in this case you can see a small symbol of electrical ground here. And uh, because this chassis is grounded to electrical ground, you can use this one to also ground some other device. Like for example, I'm using, let's say I'm using a streamer with metal case. M mine has plastic one, but let's say it's a metal casing, then I could simply hook the wire to this binding post and then to the metal case of my streamer and I would make it grounded together with Shanti. And Allo claims that makes sonic improvement. Uh, it has uh, some scientific background, it has sense, I will not talk about that and about theory. If you have a streamer with a metal case, you can try it, it costs nothing. Just find a suitably long wire, try it for yourself. It's a neat function to have anyway, to, to play with at least. Now a little bit more about the insides. Um, I did see it in person, but I will not open it again for the video. Uh, it's boring and time consuming. I'll put a picture on screen instead. 
A huge chunk is a transformer, which is basically what makes this power supply a linear power supply. Uh, if it doesn't have a transformer, then it's a switching power supply. But then after that, you'll see a board with huge bank of capacitors. And what this means is that um, basically there is a huge energy reservoir here. These capacitors store a lot of energy inside of them, making it readily available to your digital devices which makes voltage more stable and makes output impedance of this power supply lower and that is supposedly good for audio devices. Another thing worth mentioning is that both rails are filtered independently and both are galvanically isolated from the power inlet, which is again aimed to reduce any sort of noise and electrical interference coming from your mains. That said, let's move to how it actually performs. And just before I do that, if you like this video, click that button, consider subscribing or maybe even becoming a patron and also visit my website. You can find scores there and easily compare everything I reviewed so far. Okay, so now let's move to the sound quality. And um, before I talk about sound, I'll tell you that I have this one for some time now, several months probably, and I've tried it with many different DACs and with several different streamers. And I also listened its effect in another system in my friend's home, again with yet another set of different DACs and streamers. So I'm pretty familiar with it uh, at this moment. And that means that I can say with confidence that so far I haven't encountered a DAC that didn't react very positively when fed with Alo Shanti. Compared to powering your DACs and streamers from their uh, inbox free power supplies that are usually small switching wall warts or maybe using something like this which is basically a phone charger or connecting them to USB ports of your PC, um, any of these compared to Alo Shanti sound much more congested and much less resolving. And hooking either one, streamer or a DAC, and especially if you hook both of these, the effect just doubles to Alo Shanti, you get better layering, better separation, darker background, which actually helps you hear more subtle details. Things like uh, when a singer breathes in slowly before she or he starts singing, or when a guitar player slowly move nails over the strings, or really small things like a musician moved on his wooden chair and then you hear a small squeak or something like that. If that's in the recording somewhere, connecting your DAC and streamer to Alo Shanti instead of their default power supplies will just clear that veil and clear the background, create much more darkness and allow you to hear those more easily. And um, with that also there's better sense of tone decay because of that calmer and darker background you hear every tone decays longer during time and with tone decays there is actually an information about the echo of the room where recording is being made which again makes you feel the space and depth of the sound stage a little bit better those tiny echoes after the tone that are actually containing the information about those reflections and about that space. And it's not just about subtlety even, just like some things like leading edges of strings, plucks, uh, piano notes, everything sounds a little bit juicier, a little bit more energetic and better separated layered better compared to, again, default free power supplies. And 
you already know that I cannot put numbers and percentages and things like this, but the difference is as big as if you're moving from one decent hi-fi piece of gear, like let's say you're using a very decent 500 bucks amplifier, and then you try a very decent 1000 bucks amplifier. And no matter how good that uh, more affordable amp was in its own price category, once you face it with a completely different class amp, you'll notice this one is more resolving, more energetic, it, it can develop wider sound stage, everything just, it's better. And again, I cannot put percentages and numbers on it, but it feels like that with Aloshanti. Like you just upgraded both your streamer and a DAC to another class. And that leads me to few comparisons actually. Now I'm not one of these high-end guys that tried 1000 or even more expensive power supplies, but I did try a lot of affordable options. I even made my own about some popular Super Teddy Rag uh, scheme that you can find online. I used iFi iPower, which is not linear power supply because it does not have transformer. It's switching power supply, but it's a low noise one. It's a high quality switching power supply. That's probably the cheapest uh, entry to a decent power supply. It costs 50 bucks. Compared to it, Aloshanti sounds better in every way. Everything I mentioned being resolving, having a lot of soundstage cues, separation, layering, everything is noticeably better with this power supply than with iFi iPower. That one is again clearly better than the free one provided in the box with DAX and streamers. But if I have to put it roughly somewhere in the halfway, if you have a completely free um, switching power supply or you're just using your USB ports to power your DAC, then if there's Allo Shanti here, iFi iPower probably gets you half the way between these two extremes. And if you only have one device to power, and if your system is entry level, if you're not sure that you want to spend this much, if you're not even sure that you'll notice these differences, iPower is still a great buy. It's a great affordable way of experiencing what a higher quality, lower noise power supply can do for your digital sources. But if you already have two different devices, as I have, for example, if you have a streamer and a DAC that both, ne both need 5 volts, then you would have to purchase two separate iPowers, and that would increase its price to 100 bucks. And in that case, I feel it's not a good deal anymore, because if you are going to use two of them and get that close, price-wise to Aloshanti, this one is simply better sounding. In my mind, it easily justifies that 60 bucks more because you just do get more sonic qualities with it. And then next comparison leads me to Wei Liang, I think it's pronounced, Wei Liang Audio, linear power supply. My friend uh, loaned me that one at the moment I was using iFi iPower and I noticed that Veilang sounded a little bit crisper, a little bit cleaner and more resolving. And uh, I was actually quite happy with it. It also had two power rails. You can also power two devices with it. It's cheaper than Aloshanti, but it's ordered directly from China. And depending on your country, and your taxes, customs, and so on, it can actually pile up quite a bit. So depending on the price you can get that one at, it can be a really good budget solution, or if the price of you importing it to your country comes close to Aloshanti, then again, I think it's not worth it, because again, this one is better. 
As I said, Veiliang Audio is better than i5 power, but being a little bit crisper, cleaner sounding, but this one is even better. And it's again, very clear distinction. So basically what I'm saying, if you can get that one significantly cheaper and you want to hook it to an entry level system that you're not sure that you could notice the differences, then I think again, it's a good offer. But for anything a little bit more aspiring, if, uh, if you have a really decent digital section and you feel that like 60 or 80 bucks is not a big deal, then I suggest go for Aloshanti. It will pay off with better Sonics. So as you can see, I'm pretty impressed with this Shanti power supply. I quite liked it. Uh, it's influence, its impact on the sound quality is great, its versatility, its build quality, everything is to a high standard. And at least in my mind, I easily justified going from these lower budget options to this power supply. And I have yet to hear anything costing similarly to sound as good. Uh, that said, I also have to say that I never tried more expensive options like higher end power supplies, so I cannot compare it to that. I cannot say how close it comes to something more expensive, but for its price and compared to other affordable offerings, this is the best one I've tried so far. And that said, in coming weeks, I'll try to actually record differences in my system if I power my DAC and streamer with it versus when I power them with just free inbox supplied wall warts. I think it's big enough to be easily recorded and even heard through YouTube. But until then, uh, I guess you'll have to trust me on my word, or maybe not, that's okay too that uh, this is a really, really good linear power supply. And even after accounting for all the taxes and customs and everything that uh, piled up to something a little bit above 200 euros, that would be like 250 in dollars, I still feel that I made a really good purchase and I still feel that this is one of the best value upgrades that I made in my system. So that would be it. For me, it comes highly recommended. Check up a few weeks later for that sound demo that I'll try to make about it. And see you next time. Bye.